Sup guys, my name is Micah, this is going to be the 16th video in this 2D iPhone game programming series. In this video we're going to cover a couple more labels along with some animations to go along with them. So it's going to be the tap to begin label along with the tap to reset label. Uh, one thing before we get started is I want to change the, uh, the font of our game to a bolder text just because I think that looks better. Um, it's going to be the American typewriter bold text and um, I actually did, I actually made this mistake in an earlier video. Um, you want to make sure you get the exact uh, right typing for these fonts otherwise it's going to give you one of the default fonts. I actually think Helvetica is going to be the default font that it gives you. So just make sure that's all typed in correctly. Um, when we made our points label we didn't actually use this game font variable so we can just scroll down to the create content, create content method and we're going to change this uh, hard typed in Helvetica to the game font variable. Now if we run this you're gonna see that the font is just a little bit bolder. Um, I think it looks better and um, yeah cool. So that's what I used in the original uh, first tutorial when you saw it in the other game. Can close out of that and we can get started with our labels. So in this create content method we're going to create the uh, create the tab to begin label. So we're going to do SK label node, tab to begin label. My convention for um, naming my labels are generally I just put in the text that's going to go within the label and then the label after that. So this is going to say tab to begin, so it's tab to begin label. It's going to be SK label node, label node with font named game font, tab to begin label dot text equals tap to begin and um, we're just going to add this to our scene self add child tap to begin label now this is going to be a uh, pretty big font size the default font size is pretty big uh, for all SK label nodes so I'm just going to change this font size so tap to begin label dot font size I'm going to change this down to about 20 so if we run this we are going to see that the tap to begin label has been loaded into our scene. So you can see that tap to begin there. Now um, we want that tap to begin label to disappear when we click start because we don't want that to be in our game at all times. That's just kind of weird. So we need to add a name to our tap to begin label. So tap to begin label dot name equals tap to begin label. Uh, my convention for names is really just I name it the exact same name that the uh, the class is called just because that makes things um, makes things simple and you know how to access them pretty easily. So now in our start method, since we don't want the tap to begin label to exist when we click start, we are going to do self child node with name tap to begin label remove from parents. And so you can split this up into um, a couple different lines of code if you want. I like just keeping it simple. Um, to do that you would have just done um, like SK label node tap to begin label equals this and then grab that variable and call the remove from parent method on there. This just puts it all on one line and um, you can kind of see what's going on because the tap to begin label is the same name as the variable. So if we run this now um, you're going to see we're going to click on the scene and it's going to disappear. So perfect. That's exactly what we want. So now we want to add um, kind of a cool little pulse action to our tap to begin label. So we're going to do SK action. Uh, disappear is going to be one of the actions we're going to make, and also appear is going to be the other action we're going to make. Then we're going to we're going to sequence them together into a pulse action. So disappear, we can use SK action. We're going to use the fade alpha two method. Fade alpha two uh, zero point zero and this argument it takes right here takes an argument from 0 to 1 and um, 1 being completely clear, um, being completely unhidden in the scene and 0 being completely hidden and you can't even see it at 0. So we're going to use a duration of about let's say 0 0.3 so it's going to fade 
um, the alpha to zero in 0.3 seconds. And then same here with the appear action, we're just gonna do the opposite, fade alpha to 1.0 and 0 0.3 seconds. Then our pulse action is going to be our SK action, and we're gonna use a new SK um, action called sequence. And what this does is it takes an NS array of other actions that it's gonna run, um, run in sequence. So I'm just gonna use the disappear then appear method, then we're gonna repeat this pulse action over and over again so we get a continuous pulsing tap to begin label. So a shortcut for creating an NS array is you put the at sign and then you put a couple bracket, you put a couple brackets here. So you can see this is a different color, it's this purple color. This is going to be our NS array. And what you can do is you can just add the disappear and appear in there and um, super simple. I love this little shortcut for creating arrays and um, you're pretty much good to go there. So now we're going to run our pulse action. We have to make sure the pulse action is repeated over and over again. So we're gonna use that uh, repeat action forever method in the SK action class. So we're gonna do tap to begin label, run action, SK action, repeat action forever pulse. So now you're going to see if we run this, it's going to be running this action. The text is going to kind of pulse out at you and disappear. And it just, it just looks better. There you go. You can see it's pulsing pretty fast. So we might want to change that to um, maybe like, like, let's say point, point 0.6 for each of these. And then we'll call that good. So now that we have the tap to begin label finished, we're gonna go and do the tap to reset label. So essentially the same thing. Um, I'm just gonna copy all this because it is pretty much the same thing. We're gonna go into the game over section, the game over method, paste that in. It's going to be the tap to reset label. Uh, it's gonna be the same fonts. We're gonna call this tap to reset label as the name. The text is gonna be tap to reset instead of tap to begin. Uh, same font size. And then you just have to change all these um, all these keywords here. So tap to reset label, tap to reset label, tap to reset label. So cool, now we have that. Now we wanna run the same action on the tap to reset label. Because we have uh, two, two nodes running the same action, we can actually create a method out of that. So we're gonna take um, this all this uh, action right here, the pulse action, we're gonna copy this, we're gonna scroll to the very bottom, create a new method, and um, we're gonna comment this section, it's gonna be the animation section. This is where we're just gonna put all our animate methods. And we're gonna call this animate with pulse SK node node. So when you call this action on self, you pass in the node that you want to have a pulsing action, and it will just pulse that automatically for you. So we just have to adjust a few things in here. We just need to change that node to node instead of tap to begin label to make it um, to make it applicable to any node that we pass in here. So we're going to pass in the we're going to do self uh, animate with pulse tap to reset label. That should get the reset label pulsing, and we're going to do self uh, animate with pulse tap to begin label. Now if we run this you are going to see that the tap to begin label is going to be pulsing just like that. And that's a pretty smooth pulse. I like that speed. And then when we hit game over, there's this tap to reset label as well. So thank you for watching guys. I will see you guys in the next tutorial.